Look at Devontae. I understand he's struggling because he made a mistake too by leaving. But look at the way he was blow, he was balling in the first half against Jacksonville yesterday. Look at this brother and what he's capable of doing. Look at the receivers. And the bottom line is there's been one week after another after another where even though yesterday that necessarily wasn't the case because Aaron Rodgers just wasn't himself. But throughout the weeks, we've seen receivers dropping passes for him just like they were dropping passes for Tom Brady in Tampa yesterday. The reality of the situation is clear. It, this is not just about your chemistry with a receiver. It's about your chemistry as a quarterback with an all-world receiver, universally recognized as one of, if not the best, in the game. And if you had not been him and Han about retiring and ultimately departing from Green Bay, if you hadn't prioritized in getting your bag, and I'm not saying they couldn't get him because obviously when Devontae Adams elected to go to Vegas, they still offered to pay him, and it was money similar to what he was getting from Vegas. But Devontae Adams was on the record stating that the back and forth between Aaron Rodgers and the organization played a role in him determining to depart from Green Bay because he was thinking about his quote-unquote long-term future. If you Aaron Rodgers and you're a quarterback, especially an elite one like him, you know what you do? You say, come hella high water, my brother, I'm with you. I need you here with me. Wherever I go, you go. You know what I'm saying? If I'm staying, you staying. You're my dude. That's what you could have done, but you didn't. And that's because, you know why? Because you Aaron Rodgers. Because you know that you're a bad man. You know that you're something spectacular. And you thought that no matter what, you'd be able to tell the world relax because there's nothing to be concerned about here. We're going to be okay. Well, guess what? You weren't okay. You went against the worst statistical defense in the National Football League who was six days removed from firing its defensive backs coach, okay? And you still couldn't do anything against them. Your offense stinks. And Aaron <laughs> Rodgers being bereft of a reliable weapon that he believes he can trust on a week-in, week-out basis has a lot to do with that. I'm sorry. I can't absolve him from this. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.